Hello, welcome to this Landsweeper end of life video. Today we'll be taking a look at the end of life of Veeam. Now, if you're not familiar with Veeam, Veeam is a product for backup recovery and data management. So when something goes wrong, if something goes wrong, that you have backups for all your critical systems uh, or all your systems, depending on how you deploy it. Now, here we're going to cover specifically a couple of the products. We're not going to cover everything that they do, um, but we're going to focus on Veeam Backup and Replication, Veeam 1, and uh, the Veeam Agent for Windows. Um, those are the ones that we're, uh, we're able to easily give you an overview of uh, and tell you how long until they are end of life, um, how long are they still supported, etc. So let's head into Landsweeper and take a look. So here in Landsweeper, we've gone over to the report section where we're able to find all of the reports that are in our installation. Um, and to go to the end of life reports, we're going to have to go to the lifecycle category, um, which falls under security. Um, and then we'll get an overview of all of the lifecycle reports that are available for you. Um, obviously, these will also be linked in the related blog post that we've done uh, regarding the Veeam end of lives. So you can also find direct links in there to get you to the report straight away. Um, but here we can have a look at the reports ourselves. So if you click on one of the reports, you'll see that um, once you've run it, you'll get to the results with also showing you when does this product go end of life. Um, we also like to add how many days are still remaining. So you have a more, uh, an easier way really to understand and how long do I still have before this product is end of life and how long do I still have to either upgrade or migrate depending on what the product is. Um, additionally, there are extra uh, columns there that give you additional information about both uh, the product and the actual asset. And as always, if you want to, you can go ahead and uh, click on the assets and go to their individual asset pages, which, which will give you more information about that asset specifically. Now, if you want to get this information for your own IT environment, uh, there will be a link in the description of the video that will let you go to our blog post, which covers this topic more extensively uh, and gives you more details as well. And that also has the links to the specific reports uh, of the, the products that I've mentioned before. Um, so you can easily go straight into the report in your own Landsweeper installation. If you do not have Landsweeper yet, then you can also just go ahead and try out Landsweeper for free, set it up, and you can get this exact same information for your IT environment. So that will be all. Thank you for watching.